Okay, Dr. Metters here again. This time we want to talk about the prompt f command function and how it works. Now we have taken a piece of code that we've used before, all right, and we're going to focus on this prompt right here. You see where it says quarter one equals to prompt, enter the sales for quarter one. Okay, what I want to focus on right now is this part behind the quote where we placed comma and something comma and something. And I'm doing this on purpose because normally we've been putting an empty string in there. This is the default value of what go in, what will go into the prompt. So whenever I enter this command in my text, my notepad document, and save it as HTML, remember we do file save as HTML, all right, then what's going to happen is when I run it, quarter one is going to hold the value of the prompt that the user enters in. This will be what is listed on the screen as I'm back. So what will happen is when the user enters in the data for quarter one, whatever they enter in, the prompt will default to an empty string. The, t the box that they put the data in, that you put the data in, will have will be an empty string which is specified right here blank blank colon double quote double quote which is nothing between the double quotes that means nothing's there and it's to default to it so that we have a way to um, give the give the user something to initialize with it now I can also put other values in here I could put a quote dash 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 quote the word monkey and then a zero all right now that may not help us a whole lot but I wanted to show you the effect of doing that I'm gonna go over here and run it so I'm gonna run it by pressing F5. We're going to enter in the data. You know, notice this one is empty string. This right here, empty string, is nothing showing up right there. That's intentional. We're going to put 50 in there. Now the next one is going to show the quotes. I'm sorry, the hyphens there. Five high four, five hyphens. So when you put something, when you put comma something, that something's going to be the prompt right here. Now this is not going to work properly and give me any kind of average or any kind of calculation because it's going to try to do a float on a non-numeric right here, it's going to error out. But I wanted you to show you what will happen when you put stuff in there. So if you wanted monkey to be in there, it may be that you have a prompt that's not numeric. You maybe want monkey to be there, but it doesn't make make sense for monkey to be the default value for the sales for quarter three. But zero might be valid for the last one. And then now it's going to give me some invalid data, dollar NAN. When you try to calculate with a non-numeric value like monkey, or dash 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 it says not a numeric it's going to give you an error now let me go ahead and do this let's change it so I don't whoops let's change it so I don't have anything in there alright save it I got it also save it as my HTML I'm going to replace it normally I'd save as but I'm making a tiny change uh, save as a different name, run it, and now it, you see where it says undefined, so that's the problem if you put something in there. If you don't put something in there as a default value, it's going to be undefined, or if you put something in there, you better make sure it's a numeric value, or it'll, it'll cause a problem in the calculations. So if you don't put anything in there, if you leave the comma, if you don't put comma ES for empty string and define it up here, then what will happen is it'll default to where it said undefined there, and you may not, that's not, and then if you try to calculate with undefined, it's not going to work. Thank you. Have a great day. So, back, back up one more thing. So, in other words, this is maybe demonstrate how you could use these things, but this is not necessarily the proper place to do them in all cases. You may not want to use something in quotes like monkey or something else for a numeric, but it would be appropriate to use a zero. Okay? Take care.